Hey, what is going on everybody? Uh, today we're going to be doing an unboxing video of new PC. This is an Infinite, uh, it's an MSI Infinite RS. Spin it around here. So right down here. If you can read the specs, um, sorry for the noise, my dogs are being crazy right now. Uh, so this is a Intel Core i7-11700KF. It has a GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, 16 gigs of DDR memory, 3 terabyte hard drive, and a solid state, uh, 1 terabyte NVMe sol solid state in it. And it is also Windows 10. Uh, right here is the model. It is the Infinite RS 11TG234. So, I guess we're going to get right to it. And I, I do apologize. I do not have the best lighting in here. And at some point, I'm sure my dogs will walk in front of my camera as well. Hopefully, they don't knock it over. So, at this point... As you can see right here, I have not opened it. Uh, check contents if seal is broken. It is still taped up. So let's get right into it. All right, so as we open the box, this is what we have on top here. Oh, it's all one top piece. All right. I mean, I gotta say, so far, packing, I'm not gonna hate on the packing on this. Uh, so once you take that first packing off, this is what you have important please read before turning on the desktop inspect your pc yada 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 nothing on the other side so that's number one right down here on the side looks like our bag of goodies yep this is the bag of goodies uh looks like we got some pcie cables i'm gonna assume some of these are for uh extra cables for the pc power yeah psu sorry psu uh, and then we have our actual power cable. Set that off to the side for right now. Something down on that side. Right here we have, this is gonna be keyboard in this box. I'll flip it over the right way. Well, at this point, I'm just gonna set this down. keyboard in this box uh, you can see it is an MSI keyboard uh, it is not a mechanical so I don't know if I'm going to use this I have a mechanical but but the mechanical I have is wireless so there's that and put this back a little bit and I'm going to try to lift this behemoth out of here because this thing is the beast. And, uh, oh, where did I see it? It was on here. Uh, right here it actually says net weight 48 and a half, gross weight 60 pounds. So, this thing is an absolute behemoth. And real quick, we'll check out the last two things in the box. 
I think this might be upside down looking at this. What's in here? Oh, this is uh, adapters for the case, for the back of the case. All right. Put that there for now. And yep, this is mouse in here. So this is what they give you for the mouse. Uh, you've got your side buttons. I'm going to assume that's DPI, uh, your, your little wheel. No left or right on it, though. Uh, I might actually try this out. Clutch game, and I'm assuming it looks like there's a, a weight that goes in here. So, set this off to the side. And... Nope. It is right side up. So, let's see what we can do. So just so you know, this is exceptionally heavy. Like I said, the weight on it was 60 pounds. And it's, and here we go. A little bit. I mean, that, it is a nice bag that it comes with. Uh, and then here we go. We've got our packing foam on the side. Uh, this is a tempered glass case, as you can see. This light will actually work really well on top here. You can see the, the two giant fans up here. Although, I, I have suspicions with this case, because if you look at the side, so all this mesh around the side, it is ventilated. Like, this is how, how your case gets its airflow. This is what we have on the back side here. Uh, this is going to be your motherboard connections, and this is going to be for your video card. Then we've got our power down there. One of the... Oh, I don't like that. Okay, alright, good. I was going to say, don't tell me there's a scratch on it that I didn't even put there. So, up top power button uh this button's actually to change the leds there are led fans and, and stuff in there uh you've got your power light your headphones your mic four usb 3.0s and a USB C. and then you can see on the front here there's another massive fan uh right here is the logo which that will also illuminate along with this strip on the front and then we'll move to the other side and as you can see this is just the back side so it's back side of the motherboard and this is your rgb controller and then all the wiring i not horrible from what i can see so but again i i do have a theory on this case that let's open it up get that out of there and so this is what you have on the inside. So as you can see, down here, we've got the bottom fan. That is an RGB fan. This top one is not. And then right here, so I'm really curious how, how it's going to work with the AIO liquid cooler mounted up here. You can see it right there. Uh, I believe this is the MSI Dragon cooler is what they call it. And then our exhaust fan is another RGB as well. So, you know, huh. oh, it looks like a chalk mark on there. And then down here on the bottom, these are going to be your, your trays for your drives down here on the bottom. So that's going to be the three terabyte hard drive. I do also have uh, an extra two. So something just happened. It froze. So I'm going to try to pick up where I left off here. So. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where it was, but I'm just going to start the inside of the case. Uh, down here, your disk drive trays. 
Up here you have the AIO. These are, I believe these are A-Data XPG, uh, two eight gig cards. We have right here, it, or I'm sorry, probably can't see that, but right here is our one terabyte NVMe solid state drive. I do have another uh, two terabyte solid state that I am going to be putting in that I have sitting on the shelf. I'm gonna fire this up, make sure everything works first. So one of the things, um, cause I know I'd looked, but I couldn't find out cause it, it didn't tell me anywhere. Obviously this is all, you know, gonna be MSI stuff. And as far as the motherboard goes in this, it is an MSI Z590 Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with what I'm seeing so far. Again, I do have a few reservations about this case on how well the airflow is going to be in it because I don't know how well it's going to pick it up, but right here. So this mesh, you can actually see the casing of the fan and you have like that much for it to actually pull through. So I, I do have some reservations that this case might get hot. We'll have to find out, but uh, I, I have a very good idea. It is going to run, run on the warm side. I know if you watch uh, Gamers Nexus, he did a review of this case, and I believe he called it the hot box. And they actually ended up stopping uh, their test on it because they didn't want to damage the system. So they did get better results actually swapping the big fans up top and down here for smaller fans, which means there's more room for it to draw air. So I guess we're going to find out. I'm going to test it. And I mean, worst case, that's what I'll do too. I'll end up swapping out fans and putting in some smaller fans. One of the things I might do if I do a smaller fan is I might put them on the inside to actually leave all this open to help draw more in. Same thing with the top. So we will find out what happens. Uh, I'm going to take this bad boy and go plug it in. And... Uh, if I can, I'll show you real quick once I actually get it plugged in, turn it on, you know, again, because I want to make sure that everything works with it, I, that there's no dead motherboard, that, you know, everything is working properly. One of the things I do like uh, that I do appreciate is it's got this little bar right here. Uh, this is actually to help support the graphics card, so I, I do like that. But, I mean, as far as shipping goes, everything looks good. Everything looks to be as it should. So we're going to end it off here. Well, I'll plug it in. I'll show you what it looks like with power. So you can see all the RGB on it. But until that, I will be back. Uh, real quick, actually, before I plug it in, I just wanted to show you what I was using. This, I cannot tell you how old this computer is. But it was also an i7. It's an Asus Essentio series. Uh, specifically, this is a GC8350. Um, again, it was an i7. You can see this thing, I never cleaned this. This thing ran for 10 years. I did a few minor things to it. I upgraded the power supply, I upgraded the fans, and I upgraded the storage and the video card. Uh, this is a 980 non-TI is, what is what's in it. So... This is, uh, hopefully that MSI is going to be a huge, huge step up. So, I just wanted to show you what I was using. And I just wanted to do this real quick. So this is actually a full-size tower. Just to give you an idea, the size difference. You can see how much bigger this new case is. Uh, which is fine, I do have space for it, thankfully. So... Cause I'll, I'll show you what, once I get it hooked up and we'll be right back. Okay. So quick update. After I lifted this behemoth in here, I realized it's not going to fit because my old one was sitting right, right down in here. So this, you can see I've got about two fingers of space between that and the keyboard. And I've got about four fingers of space that this has to come up in order to sit on that shelf so i'm gonna have to come up with a new plan this is gonna take a little bit longer than i thought it was so i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do with it now and 
Um, I'll be back hopefully when I come up with a solution. Okay, so we have power. I just turned it on. I'm actually going to turn this off for a second so you can see it. And I'm sure you can hear that. We have a fan rubbing. I don't know which one it is, but one of these fans is currently rubbing. 